Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a brand new tank T-54D and oh boy oh boy what kind of vehicle this is going to be okay first of all let's go to the stats let's check it out how this tank looks like overall so T-54D he has 390 alpha damage uh, it has 2.2,000 base DPM, so pretty much it is, it has worse DPM than T-54 accurate gun and obviously worse DPM than object 430, um, which is, which is not really concerning, but uh, it's not the best in class to say that the least, right? Uh, it has okay dispersion. But it has horrible, horrible, horrible um, stats for whenever you are moving tank or whenever you are turning tank. So this is, the, the bloom is going to be out of this world. And honestly, aim time is far away from being ideal. So pretty much um, gun shouldn't feel that great, if you know what I mean. After that, where mobility goes, it's kind of slow, to be completely honest with you. 40 kilometers per hour for a... Um, medium tank that's far away from being ideal right so that's what we have with the t4 um t54d now let's look at the armor this is where the tank is going to shine in my humble opinion right looking frontally i mean if you are not being hit in the in the gaps over there how how do they look like in the garage so if you are not going to be hit here or here or those two spots over there or alternatively um, in the turret night this tank feels pretty good fellas and you know what is the weirdest thing those uh, those spaced armor plates will save you from hits as well at least it looks like it so this is very 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 nice I think this tank selling point is going to be pretty much, uh, um, it's to the certain extent, it's like Iron Arnie or Suka Pershing or whatever else. Now, it, 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 it's not very fast. The gun handling is not going to be good, but it is going to have armor, right? So I have no doubts whatsoever that some people would love this. If we would pay attention at side armor whenever you are side scrapping it looks like you can side scrap i mean look at this this apc those apcrs are 268 millimeters and yet still um you can side scrap that is an interesting thing anyways all of this is stats all of this is armor models no one cares let's go into the game and let's see what we can do with this vehicle okay first things first gun depression I forgot to mention that whenever I am looking into the stats. Minus 5. Minus 5 of the gun depression is far away from being ideal. Okay, fellas? I have two setups on this tank. I have hardening, uh, rammer, and stabilizer. And I have turbo, rammer, and stabilizer. Now, the main reason why do we need stabilizer? Because, unfortunately, the values of this tank where the bloom goes, it's bloody crazy. Okay? It is bloody insanity. By the way, quick information that I do not have the better ethical mod, right? So, uh, in reality, this reticle is tiny touch smaller than you can... Well, this is pretty much vanilla client, right? That's what I am saying. With a reticle mod, uh, it would feel a bit smaller, but still far away from being ideal. Okay, where the speed goes... I mean, it's 40 kilometers, fellas, good. It's 40 kilometers, good. I, I would not say so. I would not say that OMG, <coughs> this tank is flying like, like crazy mother tracker. It's impossible. It's just, it's just not ideal where the speed goes for a medium tank. That's for sure. Okay. So, what is our goal in this situation? Our goal in this situation... Is to try to play hold down and try to slap every and each mother trucker playing around this area. Hmm, Progetto. Let's try to farm him. Good, we are in position. 
Oh, gun depression. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we build a proper gun depression. That's nice. Beautiful free shot into Progetto side. I am very happy about this. Good. Very good. Okay, how about shot to this Mr. Patriot? It will take some time to aim, right? Apparently. It definitely should take some time to aim. But other than that, maybe we can hit some shots. Okay, so far so good. So far, so good, fellas. Could be definitely significantly worse than this. Hello there, beautiful. Very, very nice. How about this MTV? Let's take our time to aim. Shell velocity is very, very quick. Um, 1,478 meters, that is very nice, fellas. That is definitely very nice. E75 is playing there. Do I want to mess with this E75? I am tempted, fellas. Not gonna lie. I am tempted to mess with this E75 to jump here and try to fight against him. This would be a good understanding how the armor would work on this tank. You know what? I'm going to do this. This may not be the smartest choice. Um... But you know what? I just want to do that. I feel like I would love to test out how the armor feels like. This is what I want to do. Okay, beautiful. We are going to get plenty of the assisting damage here. The main reason why am I so aggressive in this situation is I just want to check out armor. Okay, I want to test it out. What this tank is capable of doing how this tank would be able to bounce some shots and will this tank be able to bounce some shots you know what i'm doing right i'm trying to bait this mother trucker beautiful very very nice and we are just farming assisting damage at the moment right nice gun depression mate yeah, the guy figured this out that maybe loot boxes wasn't really worth it. I have a feeling this gentleman figured this out. Yeah, not not ideal. Not ideal. Okay, doesn't really matter even though I took one for the team in the ass. That's okay. I am trying to flank this bison at the moment. I do not know, fellas. So far... So far, I am not too impressed with this tank, okay? So far, I do not have that many good things to say. With a turbo, by the way, fellas, with a turbo, it doesn't feel like the slowest uh, tank in the world of tanks. I can tell you that. With a turbo, it doesn't feel like this is the worst vehicle in the world of tanks or the slowest tank in the world of tanks. But I would love to show you the game without turbo because I know it feels like Kaku. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What to do now? Oh, I hate this gun depression. Oh, I hate this gun depression. Yeah, it's so easy to overpeak. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I really do not like the gun depression of this vehicle. The speed with the turbo is actually alright. It doesn't feel like it is the slowest tank ever. Um... Not So far, not my style of the vehicle, that's for sure. Not for me, fellas. So far, it's not for me. It's okay. The first pancake, we tested the things out. Um, I, I will need to be very patient. You know what this tank is giving to me? This tank is giving me 1 to 2 TM vibes, but without that great of the gun handling. This is how it feels like to me. I'm not impressed, fellas. I am not impressed. Okay, let's see the score. It wasn't, by the way, a good play by my side, okay? I know how aggressively I played. I know that was stupid. It's all about the testing whenever tank is coming out. I am willing to 
make a hardcore pressure and take one for the team. That is okay. Okay, fellas. 1.9 thousand damage, 1.8 thousand assisting damage. Definitely not ideal as a game, but we tested the things out. It is completely fine. We are going to be all right. Uh, where the profits goes, fellas? Where the profits goes? This is a premium tank. We lost 23,000 credits, although I missed many, many shots with a gold ammunition. I cannot complain about this, can I? I shouldn't. Anyways, uh, doesn't look good. That doesn't look good, fellas. Not gonna lie. Okay, fellas, I want to show you example how this tank looks like with a hard ring, okay? I really want to show you example how it feels like and how it looks like. Um, pay attention at the speed, okay? Um, I am not going to use the turbo just to just to see how the tank feels like where the speed goes, okay? So, what do we have? We have Westfield, we have Encounter Battle, um, Tier 9, Tier 8 matchmaking. That doesn't seem too bad. Now, the biggest highlight of all of this, uh, this tank cannot play hold down, right? Um, what do I mean by saying you cannot play hold down? Your gun depression is garbage. So playing in this position, forget about it. Just, just simply straight up, forget about it. Ooh, snapshot. That is a beautiful one. Very, very nice. I like the snapshots. Thank you very much. M103 is over there. I do not really care about M103. I want to slap this IS-22. That's what I want to do. Okay, nice, 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 nice. We punish the guy crossing through the middle. That is very much appreciated. M103 is spamming hits. But this tank has a nice hit shield. Shields, it's not going to be um, that easy to beat the living crap out of this tank, to be completely honest with you. It is all right. Let's take our time and let's load. Uh... Ooh, hi. And let's load the heat for ourselves. This guy is a tourist. What is the chance this tank, this tank needs to be treated like fast or a relatively quick heavy tank? This is, this is how I look into this tank, fellas. I do not look at this vehicle as a medium vehicle, if that makes sense. It feels like you can go into the heavy line and you can bravel quite a bit, you know? Huh. I'm trying to put my head around uh, this tank, you know, fellas? This is this is quite an interesting situation and this is quite an interesting journey. I am trying, I am like a kid in the candy store at the moment and there is a, a new flavor of the chuvets. There is a new flavor of the chuvets. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to figure out does it taste good or not so much? This is what we are doing. Yeah, okay. Okay, fair enough. I think I made my opinion about this tank, fellas. I think this is going to be more likely like a heavy vehicle. This is how I look into all of this. <coughs> <coughs> that being said, fellas, that being said, you need to play with this as a heavy tank. It's okay. You are going to be able to block quite a bit of damage until enemies will figure out how to penetrate you, obviously. Yeah, very, 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 very weird gameplay with this tank. We could try to compare this against the Iron Army, but Iron Army has... Uh, I mean, Iron Army has a horrible gun or not so great gun, right? But Iron Army has gun depression and this one doesn't. Unfortunately, there is no gun depression to be seen on this tank. Okay. We are slapping, fellas. We are slapping over there. And you know what? I think I'm, I could be a bit too sensitive where the turbo goes. 
I think I could have been too sensitive where the turbo goes. This is also the case. I have a feeling that you can play without turbo as well. I mean, now I do not hate myself. I do not feel bad about this. I feel like I am focused. All, But what is happening in my head at the moment, fellas, I'm trying to compare this tank to something. Does it make sense? I'm trying to figure out is this tank good or not so much. Does this tank have something to offer or not really? Um, and honestly speaking, if you are going to treat this tank like a heavy tank, you will, you will calm down, you know, you will slow your horses, you will figure out that, oh my bananas, how I can play with this tank is, um, I go into the heavy line and I try to slap the enemy forces for their mistakes, right? Um, I think you can actually be pretty damn successful with it as well. Obviously, you need to be patient to aim. You need to be patient to, um... Uh, Play smart, not to make stupid mistakes. And you are going to be fine. And you are going to be fine, fellas. Not bad. I mean, looking into all of this, I think the beginner friendliness of this tank is going to be relatively high. Um, big armor helps for newer players to perform good in the game, at least in my opinion, right? And... Uh, and I think there is plenty of people who will love this tank. I'm not going to be one of them. I do not really think this is going to be my vehicle by any shape or any form, right? Um, I truly don't think this is going to be my tank. But I understand the potential of this vehicle as well. In other words, I'm not going to say that this tank is unplayable uh, pile of kaku, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's completely fine. We are in the shithole, fellas. Uh, there is nothing what we can change about this. Our team wasn't the greatest. It happens. Okay, fine. Fine. Looks like we figured out how this tank feels like. That's good. Let's see the score and how much credits we lost. I was spamming full gold over there, right? Um, so I'm quite curious what is the price which we are going to pay. It's a premium tank. It should make credits, right? Okay, guys. We are back. 3.8 thousand damage, 400 assisting damage. We are first by the experience. We are first by the damage. And we lost 52 thousand credits. Oh, wow. What the actual F is this? This thing doesn't make any credits whatsoever. Is it a premium tank? Is it a premium tank? It's not a premium tank. Did War Gaming cocked it up? I think in the video, I'm pretty sure, fellas. In the video, uh, War Gaming said it is a premium tank. Okay, let's let's listen. Uh, let's listen what War Gaming has to say. No. This intricate alchemist's tool was created to obtain the Philosopher's Stone. But in fact, it can do something even better. Turn your victories into heaps of credits. Okay. No more gaming. And the main newcomer is the T-54D. A tier 9 premium tank with a serious L7 can... Um... Fellas, I, I do not know what the flying F is happening, right? But as you can see, it is not a premium tank for me, right? Maybe it's because of that I am on the test account or something like this, but it's not a it doesn't make credits, okay? So um I really want to highlight one thing that what you are seeing over there, right? This may be inaccurate, even though uh the tank releases today, you know, I'm making a fresh video, I just freshly woke up and whatnot, right? Uh it doesn't make credits it's for shit. In fact, it is it is far away from being ideal, right? Wow. Okay, let's go for round number three. Okay, round number three, fellas. Ruinberg. I'm going with a hardening setup. Let's see what this tank will bring for us. I am I am in disbelief how our gaming can mess up the thing so much. It is it is madness, fellas. You know, and 
me as a content creator, I am I am doing the review, obviously, of the tank, and uh, the profit seems off, right? And I was like, question mark, so is it a premium tank or it's not a premium tank? And I believe you get the point what I'm saying, fellas. Wow. Okay, quite a weird stuff. Okay, let's try not to focus on that. Let's focus on, uh, on playing over there. So our gameplay and our goal will be to sit here, hold down, and to slap literally every and each mother trucker who will try to play here. We have plenty of the meatballs, there is Centurion, there is Object, uh, there is Yoch Tank. We should be relatively alright. So, what is our goal? Our goal is to say hello for this guy. This is going to be dreadful. If I will need to uh, slap this guy uh, into his cupolas, with this tank hitting cupolas, it is going to be a disgusting experience. I can promise you that. Let's try to hit it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Quite an interesting one. Hmm. I mean, I can see only one selling point of this vehicle, fellas. I can see only one selling point of this tank, truly. And that one selling point is armor. Believe me or not, fellas, armor, for me, armor looks like only one good thing uh, of this tank. And you cannot say, like, this tank would have extraordinary alpha damage either, right? At least, uh, at least I do not look at into this tank like it would be um, absolutely epic where the alpha damage goes. I'm not a fan of this tank, fellas. I am just going to say that straight. It is, it is not my vehicle. I understand selling point of this tank, fellas. I truly do. The selling point of this tank is there. Um, people who loves um, armored vehicles, who is... Enjoying 1 to 2 TM. I mean, even compared this to 1 to 2 TM, it's. Those cupolas are slapping this tank, right? To the maximum. And I'm trying to protect this mother trucker over there, but what's from that? I am not a. I mean, I am I am literally useless. This bitch is slapping me in the face like there is no tomorrow. Like, I'm getting f into cupolas. Uh, like, there is no tomorrow, fellas. He snapped me like I would be his his uh, toy. Wow. I, I do not like this tank, fellas. I do not like this tank. I can tell you that. I do not know. Can you see how shit of the gun this vehicle has? You need to get close and you need to hope that enemies doesn't know how to penetrate you. And look at this. I mean, all penetrations were with a standard ammunition. Like nothing. They shredded me in the face like I would be absolutely pile of shit. Wow. Uh, yeah, fellas. I'm not a big fan of this tank. It is a medium heavy tank with a two cupolas on top. Um, with a pretty damn dreadful gun as well. There was one game when I enjoyed it. Other than that, holy bananas, fellas. Okay, let's see the score. Okay, guys. Uh, I do not know what to say. Uh, it's just not my tank either. Or either it's not my session, right? 700 damage, 300 assisting damage, I, maybe I'm having a bad streak, I'm losing a lot of credits, but like proper, a lot of credits, right? My average performance with this tank is 2.2 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage, that is, that is very, very bad for a tier uh, 9 medium tank, right? And I'm not making this uh, stuff up, you can see that yourself. I'm not hating on this tank, I do not, uh, you know, I did not came to this session like oh my bananas today i will hate this tank no, absolutely not i am giving this tank a fresh start but oh my uh this is this is looking quite bad let's go let's go for one more game um i'm giving it benefit of the doubt but it's beyond me fellas that um 
this vehicle is not even a premium tank on my press account. Uh, I hope this is a bug, you know, I truly hope so. And uh, everyone who is going to get this tank, I hope this is going to be a premium tank. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for, because the, if this tank doesn't make any credits whatsoever, then it is like utter pile of shit. Then it's worth nothing, you know? Uh, skill, okay, so let's look at this as a typical tier 9 medium standards, right? Does this tank, is this tank worth it as a typical tier 9 tank? You know, let's not talk about the premium tank levels. Pre standard tier 9 vehicle. In my humble opinion, fellas, T-54 is better. I, I am trying to figure this out, right? Uh, you know what? After this game, we are going to check it out, okay? After this game, we are going to check out uh, uh, the tank uh, rating list in the index page, and we will try to figure out, is it is it worth something, you know? Is it? Wow, I mean, I'm in disbelief how bad this tank is. It is, it is insanity, fellas. It is truly insanity. Okay, we are trying to cross. We crossed. Hip, hip, hooray. Very, very nice. Okay, now the question is, can we punish this light tank? Yes, we can. Excellent. Beautiful. Now we are preparing for enemies to cross like this. <coughs> there should be someone who would think, okay, we can, we can go full brrr like this, you know? I do not want to... Okay. Let's eliminate this light tank. This light tank needs to die. This is the most important part of this game. Light tank is dead. Excellent. Very, very good. You see, it is a bit too early to give such a hard opinions about the tank. Those, This is the first impressions, right? I feel like it is a heavy tank. That's for sure. I'm not going to change my opinion about that. I feel like where the tank performance goes, I mean, and now I'm hitting 500 meter shots. Look, we are slapping 500 meter shots like there is no tomorrow. I do not understand this shit. I, I just do not understand this. What a weird, weird, weird tank this is. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to take this position here, right? How about if we would say hello for T and Hush? I am aware of that, that enemies may have some sniper schnitzels. I get it. I get it. But I do not really mind this that much, believe me or not. Since he isn't paying too much attention, I'm just peeking sideways like this. That was fun. We got ammo react, which is a problem, obviously. How about Jack Tiger? Will he be able to penetrate me? Answer is yes. Answer is straightforward yes, fellas. Jack Tiger will be able to penetrate me. Skill, is this Jack Tiger sitting in the open field? Yes. Are we able to pen... I... <laughs> I'm not making this shit up. You can see yourself. The flat shots to Jack Tiger. Flat shots. It can't be more flat than it is here. It cannot be more flat, fellas. We are missing those shots. We are just straight up missing those shots. I loaded the gold. Luckily, we slapped Jack Tiger here. Wow. I am, I am feeling impressed by this tank performance already. And I'm feeling inspired. How about that? Definitely inspired. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to be honest. It's far away from being ideal tank. I mean, I... I it's rare for me to feel such a humongous hate for the tank... Uh, um, right out of the bat, you know? Um, and this is how I feel like when I'm playing with this tank. It's just, it's just not good. And believe me, I do not want to be negative. 
I do not want to say that this tank is that horrible or that bad or it's unplayable or something, but you can see yourself how the games are looking like. I can I cannot recommend you to open your wallet for this shit. Honestly, don't. And keep this in mind, fellas, that whenever you are buying those bloody loot boxes, this is all the time the same situation, right? Pretty much where gaming is uh, is getting awarded with their lazy business model. Let's create a premium tank and let's uh, and let's look at behind the loot boxes, right? So please, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, keep this in mind. This is this is lazy business, at least in my humble opinion. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's try to finish this game with a chin up. Let's try to punish enemies. And we are going to call it a day and we are going to call it uh, um, a game over, right? I want to load the high explosive ammunition for this Arta. Because I've seen the Arta shooting from here. I cannot see this Arta. I can't see this Arta. It's okay, I got what I deserved. That wasn't a uh, proper play by me. I cannot complain about this. I cannot say uh, that that was the correct decision from my side, right? <coughs> there is a chance that this bazaar will go for us like this. I really want to have high explosive loaded for this art, honestly. Can't find the angle. He kind of shit himself uh, uh, behind this stone. This is fair enough. How about this Baza? Will Baza slap me in the face and snap me in the face? This is the question. Isn't? Okay, good. Good. Okay, type 4 heavy. No, let's see. Can we punish him? Yes, we can. What is my goal over there? My goal is straight up... Arta has better gun than I do. I'm not even joking. Arta picked the corner and Arta slapped me in the face like I would be his little mother trucker. You know, Arta said, no... Wanna play the game nine in the face? No time for here. Go up. Don't be shy. Just go up and let me slap you. What is the chance? Yep. I was about to say, what is the chance that this guy is not going to? Beautiful. Is officially dead. <laughs> I'm telling you this Arta has better gun than I do. I'm not even joking, fellas. I'm not even joking. This Arta has better gun than I do. Okay, crazy fellas. Definitely crazy. Okay, what is what is the last thing for us to do? We need to find the type 71 and we need to slap him. Uh, if this guy has full hit points, which there is a possibility, that means we are in the deep, deep, deep trouble. All our team is down to fartable. Manticore one-shotable. I am one-shotable. Type 71 is over there. Nice. Okay, now I feel significantly better. I feel significantly better now. I do not know what happened, but the guy simply gave up. The guy said, you know what, I don't even care. Just just kill me, noob team, no support. In fact, if we would have water, I would drown. This is how it felt like in this situation. Okay, unfortunate. What can we say? 
definitely unfortunate for this gentleman. So all and all, after four games with this tank, do I like it? No. Uh, do I understand how to play with this vehicle? I am pretty sure I do. Uh, and I do not love it. I straight up do not love this tank, fellas. Look, 3.7 thousand damage, thousand assisting damage. Yeah, even though we are first by experience and second by the damage, it means nothing. Um, we got 90,000 uh, from the um, from the completing the missions. Uh, once again, without uh, without this reward, we would uh, lose the credits. And once again, as you can see yourself, for me. This vehicle isn't a premium tank, right over there. It is not a premium tank. So I hope whenever, you know, you will get it, if you will get it, uh, hopefully it is, this bug will be fixed. Uh, I don't love it. I just do not love this tank, fellas. Average performance, 2.5 thousand damage. And uh, I cannot see assisting damage up, ah, 920. So pretty much... 3.5 thousand combined. Bad performance. Uh, I did not enjoy myself. I'm just going to be honest. I did not enjoy myself. There is nothing to say, you know. With a bit of practice, I will make this tank work. For now, I I, I did not like it. Feel free to share your comment down below. Um, sorry for quite a negative video. Uh, this is not what I was looking for and this is not my intention, but that's what we have. Anyways, thank you very much and see you soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.